We have not directly heard from the president on Comey's testimony, but we did hear from the president's personal attorney. It's safe to say the Trump team is trying to accentuate the positive and hammer Comey on the negative. Chief White House correspondent John Roberts has that part of the story tonight from the North Lawn. Good evening, John. Brad, good evening to you. The White House and the Republican Party are trying to put the best spin possible on today's hearing, insisting that Comey's testimony proves the president did nothing wrong and that it's, quote, time for this witch hunt to end. The image Donald Trump wanted to present today was that of a president unconcerned by the machinations on Capitol Hill, speaking today to the Faith and Freedom Coalition. You didn't let me down, and I will never, ever let you down. You know that. It was left to the president's outside attorney, Mark Kasowitz, to respond to James around. Comey's testimony. Mr. Comey has now finally confirmed publicly what he repeatedly told President Trump privately. That is, that the president was not under investigation as part of any probe into Russian interference. While Kasowitz claimed vindication on that point, the president's team took issue with Comey's assertion that the president was subtly ordering him to drop the investigation into Michael Flynn. The president never, in form or substance, directed or suggested that Mr. Comey stop investigating anyone including the president never suggested that Mr. Comey, quote, let Flynn go. President Trump's son, Don Jr., backed up his father, saying he doesn't do subtle. On Twitter, writing, quote, knowing my father for 39 years, when he orders or tells you to do something, there is no ambiguity. You will know exactly what he means. On Comey's assertion that the president was asking him for a pledge of loyalty, Kasowitz insisted didn't happen. The president also never told Mr. Comey, quote, I need loyalty. I expect loyalty, close quote. He never said it in form, and he never said it in substance. While the bulk of the response came from the president's personal attorney, the White House did weigh in on Comey's assertion that the president lied about the director's firing. The administration then chose to defame me and, more importantly, the FBI by saying that the organization was in disarray, that it was poorly led, that the workforce had lost confidence in its leader. Those were lies, plain and simple. In an off-camera briefing, the principal deputy secretary rejected that charge. No, I can definitively say the president's not a liar, and I think it's frankly insulting that that question would be asked. The president's team also came down hard on Comey's revelation that he leaked the details of the February 14th Oval Office meeting in order to prompt the appointment of a special counsel. Kasowitz claimed the action amounted to retaliation against the president. We will leave it to the appropriate authorities to determine whether these leaks should be investigated along with all the others that are being investigated. The president's legal team also charges that Comey began to leak the contents of his memo before the president sent out the tweet that Comey said today caused him to leak the contents and uh, the details of that meeting that the two of them had in the Oval Office. In fact, the day before the president sent out that tweet, the New York Times carried a story that had details of the private dinner between Comey and the president, details that were memorialized in one of Comey's now famous memos. Brett? John Roberts live on the North Lawn. John, thank you.